Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. The reading is going to be general, so keep that in mind. It might mean that it doesn't resonate with everyone and that's okay. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a very, um, well, it's the reading, it's the energy that crowns your reading, but it's a very intuitive kind of energy. It's an energy of creativity. It's an energy of emotions. It's an energy of charm. It's the Knight of Cups is someone who has learned to understand his emotions. He's learned to understand his feelings. He's someone who's inspired to share his emotions. He's someone who's inspired to share his feelings. You might be... He's someone who's in love with the idea of love or with love itself. You might be feeling like this Knight of Cups where you're inspired to open your heart up and share your feelings to someone or you're inspired by an imaginative ID or you're inspired by the energy of love and creativity you're in, and you're motivated by it to take action you could also something that you've always dreamed about creating you could finally be taking action towards it and making it your reality um, it could be an art project or something that you've just been called to do you could also find yourself drawn to something in particular, to um, drawn to something very specific at this point in time. It's also a reminder, the Knight of Cups is a reminder that if you do not change anything, like if, if you do not do anything with your dreams, they will remain just that, dreams. So you, I think right now you are being led by your heart. You are being led to take action. And I think you have to let, and this is a good energy, because you have to let your intuition guide you in everything that you do. The King of Cups is ruled by his emotions and his heart. He is not ruled by his intellect or by his logic. Okay, that's the um, Knight of Swords. Um, you are, you're making decisions based on how you feel. And when you're in this energy, you, you would be, you'll be surprised at just how much opportunities show up to you. Okay. Because from what I can see, you are in an energy where you are attracting love or you're attracting more of this energy into your life. You could be attracting someone new who's going to show up, um, resonating with this energy of yours resonating with this energy of love with this energy of inspiration compassion intuition someone who resonates with the things that you want and resonates with the love that you have to offer um, if you're in a relationship you might find that by opening yourself up to this person and to the vulnerabilities of love your connection and your love will deepen with this person your understanding of one another is going to deepen if you are very passionate and just very in love with an idea or a project, you're being called to take action. This is your call to action, this this right here, the Knight of Cups. You're being called to take action on your dreams because, as we spoke about earlier, there is potential for you to attract more of what you love into your life. But in order to do that, you have to resonate in that energy, right? And you have to... You have to take action. A dream without any action is just a dream. 
I'm also seeing that you have to step out of this energy of fear. There is something here that I think is holding you back and I think it could be a fear that might be hidden in the depths of your subconscious. It could be something that someone has said that has resonated with you in a very powerful way and it may not be true but you just the way that they said it or the person that it came from feels like it had a very strong influence on your energy there may be something something here that i feel like you find yourself trapped in um, there may be a situation that you need to resolve and you need to approach this situation in a, from an energy of love rather than from an energy of fear you might have to resolve a conflict with someone you might have to resolve an inner conflict with yourself you might have to step out of this energy of fear step out of this energy of the eight of swords is a is a mental prison of swords so if you feel stuck if you feel like your relationship isn't moving if you feel like you're not growing if you feel like you know your idea or something isn't taking off it's because you are keeping you are holding it back you are keeping it stuck um you are keeping yourself stuck so in anything that is stagnant anything that is growing is stagnation it's decaying so if something hasn't been going here what you're doing is not working so it might be time to change things up if you find that your relationship might not be grow like is not growing or your feelings for someone might not be growing then maybe an open and honest conversation not only with your person but also with yourself an open and honest inner dialogue with yourself is going to be very important because i feel like after a period of stagnation after a very quiet period of just things not moving or things not happening or things not you know shaking and baking you have the eight of wands energy you have this energy where suddenly everything is happening suddenly everything's happening all at once suddenly there's a lot of communication there's a lot of things moving forward here there's things progressing in leaps and bounds it's a very fast paced energy some like things are taking off and it's happening fast you might find yourself that you're going to be falling in love with someone very shortly um you might find yourself that you're going to catch feelings for someone very quickly it might be a love at first sight type of situation or it might be that you develop feelings for someone very quickly they might catch feelings for you very quickly and i think this energy it doesn't come out of nowhere it doesn't come out of the blue sometimes things just feel like they happen out of the blue i'm not picking up that for you i think that this comes after you make a choice right because the lover's card is all about choices so you make a choice to take action you make a choice to decide whether you're in or you're out you make a choice whether you stay or whether you go you make a choice whether you do or you don't whether you will or you won't some do some don't some will some won't who knows but you make that choice you know which side of the which side of the fence or which side of the numbers you're going to be on once you make that choice you're going to find that your life is going to move in a new direction your love life is going to move in a new direction your career your projects your dreams you are going to be heading in a new direction you're going to be heading towards an energy of love towards an energy of alignment okay so especially this is especially true for those of you who found if you found yourself stuck or if you found like things have been at a standstill lately i think it's been the heat the fear that's been holding you back and ironically maybe you have been that person that has been afraid of things working out for you because some people are afraid of success more than they are a failure and i think that the person i'm connecting to you've been scared that not so much that it doesn't work out but you've been scared of what if it does work out i know it sounds a bit strange but you've been scared you know what if it does work out you know what if this relationship works out what if this opportunity works out what if this dream works out and it will and let me tell you it's not going to be that scary because it's going to feel so natural it's going to feel so organic okay i think you're scared because maybe you feel you don't deserve it maybe you feel like it'll never happen for you or maybe you feel like once it happens for you what then don't worry you'll redirect you'll readjust when it happens when, when you'll get there but until then i think you're being you're being asked to keep following your 
North Star, keep following your heart, your passion, let your heart lead you. And I think you are at this energy where you need to make a choice. You need to make a choice. Because when you choose, not only are you committing to your choices, but you're also committing to your consequences, right? So I think you have to make a choice. And the choices that you make, it's so important that they align with who you are. They align with your soul purpose. They align with, you know, your passion, um, your soul. The things that make you feel alive. The things that make you feel excited, like you get excited over. It's so important that you choose love, that you choose people that choose you. That's so important. There's no point in trying to attract someone who is repelling you. And there's no point in trying to attract something that repels you. So attract be the magnet and attract the love that you deserve and the love that you know you're capable of giving um all right guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now